Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, this video here is part of a series of videos that I'm putting together on um, shooting a bow, things like that. I was going to do the video. I was going to do this video at the bow range, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together because I've been waiting for the weather to let up um, so that I could do it out. And just guys, this year of 2013, beginning of 2014, has been a unbelievable winter so I'm just going to go ahead and do it um, part of it's going to be here in the house explaining some of the things I can explain to you um, that I can't explain here um, and then I'll you know do a couple of them out on the uh, bow range um, because of the weather so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is guys there's a you know a lot of people I mean this bow here this is my bow I shoot um, I've bow hunted my whole life um, and that's all I do is bow hunt um, a lot of guys get hung up on do I need a real expensive bow or whatever? And you don't. You just need a main thing you need is a bow that fits you. I mean, because if you don't get that, if you don't get a bow that fits you, you're going to have a struggle. It's much better to start out right um, with a bow that fits you, you know, that's a cheap bow than to start out with a, you know, $1,000 bow or a $1,500 bow um, that doesn't fit you. Um, and then you start out with do it with bad form and stuff. So the main thing, you know, like I said, you want a bow that fits you. You need a bow that you can you can draw back. Um, if you're starting out, you may need a little bit of adjustability with it as far as the uh, poundage because you're you know you're going to build some muscle memory and stuff like that. And your your coordination as you begin to shoot more often is going to be more, and you're and you'll be able to draw more weight. You may want to bump your poundage up a little bit. So don't try to you know start out with a super heavy bow. Um, I shoot a 70 pound bow. I, I can pull it back with a breeze. I mean, it's no problem at all because I shoot it so much. Okay. And the other thing is you want to make sure that the draw length is correct. And the reason that is is your form. Uh, when you're at full draw, you don't. If you're having to lean forward to come to the string, you're you're you're. That means you're too short. Or if your draw length's too long, you're maybe here. Your head's back. You're cocked back. Your body's your your body's out of whack. You don't want your body out of whack. You want to be able to come back at, at, at full draw and be center. Your head needs to be center over your body. Okay. You need to be able to be comfortable and relaxed, not out of here like that. Because what happens? Um, I'm gonna put the bow down. Um, but what happens? Okay. Is if you're if you're if you're off balance when you're shooting when you when you the actual moment of the shot you've got muscles that are tense that you're having to use that are not part of your shooting what you want is when you're shooting you want to be almost completely relaxed like a feather you want the least amount of muscles being used when you actually make the shot okay because there's a there's just a brief second I don't know if it's a hundredth of a second a thousandth of a second but there's a brief moment when you you know let's say you're using a release or fingers whichever when you release that arrow there's a a split second from the time you release that arrow till the time the arrow comes off the rest okay like here when you're at full draw there's a brief second from that that string comes all the way forward and before that arrow leaves its rest when you have muscles and things that are tense that are being used Let's just say you're, you're, because this is probably the most common problem, you're back here because you've got too long of a, a draw length and you're having to, 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 your body's having to come back to adjust for that. Okay, when you release that arrow, you've got all these muscles in your body that are being used. Well, when you release, the muscles relax. Okay, on that release. During, and they relax, they start relaxing immediately because you no longer need them because the string comes away from your face so you no longer need the muscles well when you start relaxing your body moves and I know it's, it, it may be you may not even be able to see it even if you were filmed at, in slow motion you may not be able to detect it but because the movement is so little but a little inkling of a movement especially if you're shooting a longer distance um, makes a huge difference if you were shooting 50 yards that inkling of a movement may make you off 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 inches. Okay? So that's the reason you have to have the bow set up right. 
you need the bow set up right where basically it comes back, you know, to your, to your, you know, and hits you, you know, basically on your nose, right around here, around your mouth, depending on how you're doing it. And we're going to talk about anchor point in a different video, um, but you, you know, you want your anchor point to be at a certain spot. But you, when you draw back, you want to be able to draw back, and the, the string hits you here at your nose, you know, really close, right in there. It doesn't have to be dead on. Or some people I've seen it, they just they can't do it. Um, but you know, the perfect would be hitting you at your nose, coming down right around your, the corner of your mouth. And just because yours is doing that doesn't mean your draw length is right because people adjust. It's like I said, they'll lean back in their body. They're, they're, they're like this. Their body is like this and they're adjusting and that string is hitting them dead on their nose, but they're not centered. They're, they're caught, their body's out of whack. Maybe not as bad as I am right now, but they're here. You want to be completely comfortable straight up right this here head dead center over your body okay and then we'll talk about stance and stuff in a different video but that's the first thing that you must have is a is a well fit and well tuned bow um, or you'll never be consistent I mean you can get consistent you can eventually learn it um, but you're going to be shooting wrong the entire time it's going to be much easier for you to learn how to shoot to start out right where you're where your form is here and you can do that by you know when you're shooting have somebody stand and do a little video of you while you're shooting or take a picture while you're at full draw if you're cocked back like this your draw length is too long if you're leaning forward like this your draw length is too short you want to be able to come back at full draw and be relaxed with basically the, the string hitting you right here at your anchor point and you want to be able to be completely relaxed and you want your head dead center over your body okay or if that's not the case then your bow doesn't fit you you need to do some fine tuning or find another bow or something um, and any pro shop go to a pro shop somebody that knows what they're doing and make sure they fit you with a good bow if they're if if, if, if them things are not coming together if you're cocking back like this and they're saying your draw length is correct they're wrong Okay, you need to go find somebody else. Or if you're here and, and your drawing's not right, they're wrong. There's going to be more videos on this. There's a blog post I'm putting together. All these videos are going to be part of that blog post. They're going to be up on YouTube. If you want to see all the videos, you can click the link in the description. And it'll take you to the blog post. You can go to DeerHuntingSchool.com, look around on there and find it. Um, but all of these videos on shooting a bow are going to be in, in one blog post so that you guys can easily see them. And the different parts of them. This one here is making sure you get a right, the bow right set up, your draw length and stuff. The next video is going to be on other stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips, information, things like that on deer hunting. Have a good day and bye bye.